Hi friends, we're Mike and Nancy and we are on Allure of the Seas uh, President's Cruise uh, sailing out of Galveston here. And it's the President's Cruise because Michael Bailey, the President of Royal Caribbean, is on board the ship here. And they had a, a Q&A, a get together time for the Ultimate World Cruisers here. What I have recorded for you is um, it's the Q&A portion. I didn't catch the Michael Bailey portion. Really, all he did was welcome us on board. There wasn't anything uh, there of, of real value. But here you're going to hear the questions that were asked. Many of them were asked about onboard credit. Um, but anyway, I think you'll find some of this to be very valuable. So thank Well, especially if you're a world cruiser. Yes, yes. So welcome to Living Phase 2. First thanks of all, thanks a lot. You guys here okay? Is this oh. on the okay, we'll try it. Nope, not on the bottom. Uh, on, on the side. On the side. Nope, not on the side. Just get it close. Okay, but it's on. It's not on the side. Oh, it's there. How's this? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. So, China. Yes. Um, and I'm sure you've seen this question. There is a 144 hour exemption. We're waiting to hear. Um, back in my previous life, I traveled to China quite a bit, but we're trying to understand, the, especially the Royal Caribbean excursions, that, is that covered by the 144 hour exemption or do we need to go through all the process of getting an actual China visa or not? You may not have an answer, but that's the one that I think a lot of us are waiting on. Yes. 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 So we Good have point. been in touch with our colleagues over in our China office and they are working with local authorities to see if we can extend that 144 hour exemption. So we should have a response within the next four weeks or so, which will be the email to all guests. So in the meantime, we're really asking hold tight, but whether we have a response or not, we will communicate that so that we, you can determine what are the next steps if you need to go through that unfortunate rigorous process, and if not, what are your exact options? Any other questions? Wow, you guys are easy. <laughs> You continue to work on the ship, and we continue to keep refreshing and, and touching base and working on the public areas as well as the state rooms. So you will see refreshing points throughout the journey as well as while we're prepared for the safe. So, but we, we don't know for sure. I mean, it's just like I, I'm kind of like a little eat about putting all my stuff for nine months on the carpets. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, good afternoon. I'm Raymond. I work with Naomi and Nicole on this trip. Um, no, we're not going to change all the carpets in the state rooms, uh, but we certainly have changed all the beds, all the mattresses. We have all brand new linen, first in class, or first for the brand. So we're doing an awful lot of work to ensure we have state rooms and the ship is comfortable enough to date as much as you know, we can do. So it's a great ship. You will see it in a couple of days. We continuously with all our ships. We have a maintenance program in place, which sees to all those things in a very frequent and regular and routine basis. And we have accelerated this process on Serenade. But uh, to answer your question, do we get new carpets for the work just happening? I'm afraid that will not be the case. Will they be vacuumed really, or, or washed really good if they're dirty? Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we do that everywhere. You know, you know I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bit shocked to hear that actually because we do that through all our ships. But uh, one thing we also do, we get the ship in a day early. So we actually bought ourselves, uh, the ship is coming in on the 8th or the 9th. We have the day to set up the ship. And that will also allow all of you to, you know, come in, those of you who come in early into Miami, we can check your luggage on board the ship and everything. 
and then on the 10th, when you come on board the ship for the load cruise, everything is going to be ready for you. So we are buying and building a little bit of a room for us to do everything extra special. But the thing for is your the onboard credit, a lot of people have questions about how, you know, the onboard credit is going to be handled. Can, once we get on board, can we transfer it from one mini segment to another mini that's you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so there are different levels of onboard credit that will be treated at different manners. The credit name for onboard credit that was recently uh, uh, featured, that one will be applied to the individual voyages. But only after. We can only use it after we're on board. We cannot use it prior. Correct. So the way that the onboard credit for CAS is going to work, um, it's on the day one of each individual sailing, that onboard credit will be... Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, so the way that the CAS onboard credit will work, on day one of each individual sailing, that credit will be loaded onto your account at the guest level, and it will remain throughout that individual voyage. And then basically at the end of the voyage, it will not roll over to the next day. But it is not for pre-cruise, it's for once you're on board. So can we assume that excursions will be available on the first day? So if you wanted to book an additional excursion on that particular voyage, there will still be excursions available for booking. One of the reasons why the excursions were open early and and featured to you is we wanted to make sure that you had the excursions of your choice. With the onboard credit. No. Once you're on board and you book something on what board, we... once you're on board and you book something on board, the credit that you have can be applied to expenses on board. And you're assuming that there will be excursions available when we're on board. I saw Paul in the room. We will make sure that. Our... Yes, excursions will be available pre and the segment prior and for the segment after. If you want to apply your onboard credit towards an excursion on the next segment, is that correct? Or even on the current segment, yeah. I mean, it, if we know we're gonna be at a certain place in time, yeah. we want to be able to use that cruise credit for an excursion and book it now, when we still have a chance, as opposed to waiting until day one and trying to book it. We'll work closely with Nicole's team on how that onboard credit will be applied, but I think the best thing we can do is probably reserve that for for you, hold that space, put it in either either pay for it at that point, and then do we apply that onboard credit to that tour at that time? Just so we ensure that you're booked on that excursion. Does that make sense? Yeah. So we can reserve it and not pay for it. Yeah, I think we can kind of work on that with you. Absolutely, and we'll work with you on it. Mr. Yes. Like, I'll, I'll email you. Yeah, okay. And <laughs> so for the shareholder onboard credit, that'll be applied to your first sailing. Right. Correct. Correct. So after that sailing commences, you will get it refunded to your card on file. Right. But I want to know on the non-refundable OBCs that will also get will that get used first? Or if we use purchase anything, will that get used first? Or you touch the OBC, the refundable OBC. Yes. yes, we'll make sure that that happens. We'll okay. make sure with our, our financial. Because I think a lot of us would like to know that, correct? Yeah. Yes. We want to use the non refundable first. The answer is yes. On that same subject, how about onboard credit from a travel agent? They say they're going to put it on the master booking number that doesn't work. <laughs> So what we'll do is we'll divide it based on the sailings, and we'll put it on each sailing. So, so I don't know, depending on what the quantity is. So you're going to take the 
travel agent on board credit and divide it by 17. Nicole, I have an answer. Okay, second here. Sorry. Hi. So actually, your travel agent needs to add the onboard credit to your serenade booking and not your master booking. That's the answer. Whichever one you, they want to or whichever one you want it added to, that's the one that you're going to have it available to you on. So they could actually take their total amount and put a small amount on each 17. If they'd like to, absolutely. That's an option for them. And that type of onboard credit is refundable if it's not used. Uh, my travel agent does not know that. Have you made that public to them? Yeah, we can make sure that that's so, shared. Come spend your money. Um, back to the onboard credit. So the one thousand dollar shareholder onboard credit that's on the master booking, and we have that right now um, allocated to different segments so that we can actually use that now for short excursions. <laughs> it's going to unfortunately has to stay on the first sailing due to system limitations. However, if there is a certain set of circumstances, feel free to email either a world cruise desk or myself or Naomi. We can help accommodate you. Yeah, either way, that one is going to be refundable. So if you don't get yeah. to use it all up, you get to, that money will go back on the card uh, that is on your booking. So it'll just go right back on to the, I'm sorry, the one that's on your folio. So the way that we're going to use the OBCs is that we'll, we prioritize them so that the ones that are non-refundable, we'll eat those up first. So any remaining money that you have, then that will be hopefully part of the not the refundable one. So you'll get that back. We're not trying to keep your money, we're trying to make it as easy as possible. But as Nicole mentioned, there are some system limitations that make us make it a little bit more complex than we ourselves would like to. So. Um, I'm lolling. I'm so. If I have it already. Yeah, it would be nice to break it up because we're paying money cash out right now for right. the excursions that we could be using that on for credit. But I think that's we not have a team who is solely focused on how to best accommodate these onboard credits. Unfortunately, our systems aren't as easy to work with. We've had many brainstorming sessions with Stephanie's team. So we're, we're really trying to, like Lolly said, we want to keep your money. We want you to be able to spend it as, as easy as possible, right? So. We'll, we'll get there. So, just to uh, clarify, share on board credit, it's applied to the first segment of the sale. The first sailing. Okay. So, if the entire $1,000 of the shareholder on board credit is not used on the first sale, does it roll over? It will not roll over. You'll get it refunded to your car on file. So, any cash remainder back. goes to the car. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Any remainder goes to the car. Correct. Yeah. On your folio. So, whatever card you add to your profile, that will be the, the funds that you don't use from the shareholder OBC will be refunded to that card. What about the onboard credit? The onboard credit from a travel agent, if we have any leftover, can we apply it to the following? No. We have to use the The core of the message is that with the onboard credits, they're not going to roll over from one of the 17 sailings to the next. So if it's applied to sailing number two, for example, you won't be able to use that onboard credit value for sailing number three, four, five, etc. It all the the financial aspect um, is completed at the end of each sailing. Does that make sense? So if you have non-refundable OBC, we're going to eat that up first. And then if you go through all of that, you have refundable OBC, then whatever amount of that that you don't use will be refunded back to the card that you have on your folio account at the end of that individual sailing. Does 
And a question we have received is, at the end of each ceiling, your folder will close out. Right, right, I understand that. And another big thing that we're all worried about when we're in Cecilia, Cecilia is the co admin for the Facebook page. Her and I. <laughs> but yeah, everybody is uh, concerned about how is it going to work for us for the 17 mini segments with our CPAS cards and how, how is that going to be handling every time we get on our cards? So you are receiving a different CPAS card for the, the mini segments, but there will be a flawless process on board with receiving it prior to the turnover. It depends a little bit from port to port on what the local authorities require from an immigration standpoint or from a back-to-back -back process of whether or not everybody needs to go through the process, whether it's a non-face-to-face -face process but we will make sure that all that information is provided to you well in advance. We look at who has shore excursions, who needs to depart the ship earlier because of departures that are scheduled for shore ex, who, what, who might wish to remain on board that day and not get up early. We will ensure that we will work with the entire group, that it is not felt as an interruption to your overall sailing. Okay, I might be the unicorn in the room, but we're going back to OBC. I know you said there was not going to be anything at the top booking number, but I have OBC sitting at the top booking number right now because I had a sailing that was canceled during COVID, and Visa came back to me a few months ago and said, we'd like to restore that to you, and where do you want me to put it? And at that time, all I had was the top booking number. Okay. And that's where I gave them it. It's sitting there. So how do I access that? Go ahead and just send an email to the world cruise at rccl.com inbox and tell us which of the other bookings you want us to move it over to and we'll take care of it for you. Okay. And is is points OBC refundable or is it non-refundable? CR OBC. No, it's not refundable. That's what I thought. Non-refundable. Okay, so I have to figure out strategic <laughs> so by the way for us so far the biggest takeaway from all the questions that you have about onboard credits is that we'll feature it on our, our next webinar and we'll have a cheat sheet for you guys so sean who's going to host our next webinar Hi, hey sean will be mr i gotta OBC. see it man <laughs> <laughs> that's a mystery I, I have an idea which uh chessy just uh, whispered to me, go down in the casino, double down with your OBC, and it's a win win. Put it all in black. So, new sea passes, every sailing, new internet account, every sailing. We are looking at what the possibilities are. It looks at the moment that it will require you to log back on with a new account, unfortunately, but it's a very easy and simple setup. So same password, same? Yeah, yeah you can use the same password and the same setup. It's just you have to re-register. We will make sure that those world cruises that want to have priority, that we will work on a priority system. Okay. Thank you. 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 Maybe do the CPAS cards like, I know, maybe do them in like black or something. Yeah. Do like a black card, you know, so we can, you know, have a different, I don't know, just yeah. something, yeah. just something a little different, right? We need to leave something. Yeah, yeah. We want to leave something. So we can just show with the bar and go, you don't have to ask. That's right. You'll leave something Those of us that are becoming pinnacle 
photographers. Oh. How soon we won't get our pageants. Oh, yes, you know. Yes, oh, you know that one. Uh, yes, I do. I might have a, a little secret. Um, but we did announce this on the webinar. Um, any new pinnacles uh, that you know that become pinnacle throughout the World Cruise Voyage, we will have your badges engraved ahead of time and on board. You won't get to wear it until you actually turn pinnacle. <laughs> um, so that will be LA. <laughs> okay. Oh, there you go. You already know. LA. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yeah, so we will celebrate you. We will wait to send your kit until you return, just because okay. it's one more thing for you to bring home, and obviously yeah. that's a lot. Um, but your bag will be ready so that you can wear it loud and proud. How many pinnacles are going to start out, and how many pinnacles are going to end? I don't know if I can tell you that. I'm going to keep that one to myself. Maybe we'll review it later. Maybe on the next webinar. How many world cruisers are there? Four world cruisers, Nicole? Eight hundred. How many? Seven hundred full. Seven hundred full. Are our suites available? Can we roll a lot today? <laughs> <laughs> Asking for friends. So related to upgrades, we will be having an email come out very soon. So hang tight. Any more tidbits on the halo? You tempted us with something coming out before, but not really right. revealed anything yet. So we. Ask you to stay tuned. We have our August 8th webinar, which, as I mentioned, Sean will be hosting. Yay, so gosh. we'll have more information during that webinar. Okay. Yes. I think we have time for one more question so we can start partying again. Any other questions? One doozy. Give us a doozy. <laughs> Thank you, Naomi. Thank you. So, Naomi, has this been the hardest thing that you've done as a group? <laughs> this party or this? The world cruise. The world cruise. <laughs> it has been extremely interesting, a huge learning curve, and I'm very much looking forward to setting sail with all of you on the serenade in December and welcoming everybody on board. So thank you everybody for joining us. Again, if you have any questions that pop in into your head, drop the cruise, you know where to find now you know Naomi, what was offered by Courtney. So we look forward to you standing and enjoying the rest of the cruise with you all. Thank you. So I hope that was helpful for you. Uh, be sure to watch. We're going to have many more videos coming out on our President's Cruise experience here. And uh, we hope that for the world cruisers out there, this was a helpful little uh, video. And uh, we will see you again shortly. Bye-bye, friends.